Hey now, what is up? D Smooth here again with another episode of Stay Smooth Shaving. Just had a great shave today. Feeling good. The weather just turned. No more hotness. And it was perfect to bring this soap out. Sterling Soap and Company's Autumn Glory. Boom. I love Sterling. I've gone back and looked over the Sterling products I have. And I am just impressed. Just had a shave with this. And I forgotten how good this was because I've been testing out new soap products and whatnot. But next to Phoenix, Sterling is probably one of the next soaps I have the most soaps of. Um, I like them when they just came in their little pucks. Um, that's how I have some of my first uh, soaps from them. But then they went to this green big old tub. Uh, it stands them apart. I can, I can see that. Um, it is what it is. It's green. It's sterling. You know what it is. Sturdy. Robust. Love it. Love this tallow formula. Beef tallow, stearic acid, distilled water, castor oil, potassium hydroxide, vegetable glycerin, fragrance oil, almond oil, shea butter, coconut milk, lanolin, sodium hydroxide, sodium lactate. Get a little look at the ingredients there. And this baby... I still get amazed every time I see the price, even though they, it has gone up, but you get more for what you're getting. It's, um, this one's 12 bucks for 5.8 ounces. Comes to just $2.06 per ounce. Oh yeah, excellent. And without, without one, I don't get the other. I either get an aftershave or a post-shave balm. Um, I'm kind of falling in love back into post shave, aftershave balm. I had a aftershave kick for a while, I was going for it, going for it, but now that the weather is cooling down, the weather is more dry, the air is more dry, I like to hydrate my face with an aftershave balm. And this sucker is awesome. I have loved Sterling's aftershave balm since I first tried it. Them, Soap Commander, um, Ginger's Garden. Uh, I, can, I can name a lot, I can keep going, but for four ounces, $6.95, comes to just $1.75 per ounce, and this is in, this stuff has got it going on, metal sea foam oil, grapeseed oil, shea butter, coconut oil, vitamin E, witch hazel, I mean, this has got it all, and this is a, um, how would you say? non menthol and I like that and don't get me wrong I like menthol sometimes in my aftershave balm but I like the sterling I think they offer it with and without I could be wrong but I think they do but the reason I like that is because I use it all over my face and then I don't like to fill the menthol all over my face so that's why I like the sterling and look how that's a big bottle and that's gonna last you a long time so I hope everyone's doing well having a great day had a great shave and you're in for a good one today. The Autumn Glory, I gotta admit, when I first opened up and sniffed it, I was like, what the heck? It took me right back to my childhood. Big old leaf piles on the floor, on the ground outside, you're walking around, you're with your buddies, uh, your horse playing around, the sun shining, you get those autumn winds, those autumn scents, and it's, it's nice. It's got a very unique, classic ozone meets big pile of leaves in a good way, in a good way. Um, out of the tub, I think I probably gave it a 6.5, but as I used it and I used the lotion that matches the scent, I'm catching whiffs of it now that it's interacting with my skin, and I, and I love it. I'm really liking it. So... Um, I will get to that rating in a minute, but for the most part, Sterling is a semi-soft soap, uh, soft to medium. I can kind of push my hand right into it. I have great success with Sterling because I have <clears throat> hard water and usually tallow soaps, I have to play with them a lot, but not Sterling. For some reason, me and Sterling get along very well. It creates a good cushiony dynamic lather that I can get a great shave today, which I did today. Uh, 
Yeah, you just it just takes you back to when times were simpler. All you had to worry about was recess and then recess. I don't know what else to tell you. Good stuff. Ah, great stuff. But like I said, Autumn Glory. This one's for 12 bucks. Uh, that's a good thing about Sterling. You can get a soap and an aftershave balm under 20 bucks. They charge five bucks, flat shape, flat rate shipping to anywhere in the United States. Um, so it's a good deal. Bang for your buck, Sterling's my, my, one of my favorites. One of the ones I recommend to people that want a good soap that you can match with an aftershave or a balm and you can get it with under 20 bucks. So that's my review today on Sterling. Now I do have to say that um, the scent, like I told you, I had to really find what I liked about it. And then once I did, it took off. So if you, I know you've heard this before, from not myself, but other people as well. Once you open it up and you kind of go, hmm, I'm not too sure, because that's what I did. Use it, bloom it, let it sit on your face, see what the scents, oils are going to do with the chemistry of your pH of your, of your skin and let it shine from there. Don't judge it right out of the tub. I've learned that. So, um, rating this is as follows. <laughs> slickness, I, I can tell you, for a tallow soap with me having hard water, I get a good slickness out of this. I'm gonna give it a 9.4 for slickness. Cushion, Sterling gets great cushion. For me, it's a 9.5. Uh, Poche Face Fill, it's right up there. It's not, I don't think this is a cocum butter formula. No, it's just got shea butter. But it still provides excellent poche, so I'll give it a 9. I'm telling you, it's great. The scent, like I tell you, when I first opened it up, it was like a 6.5 to me. But as I kind of warmed up to it, I bloomed it, I used it, it's an 8.9. The scent strength, it's about a 6. So overall, Autumn Glory will get a 9.2. 9.2 excellent excellent stuff and just without the scent I always give Sterling aftershave balm a 10 absolutely one of my top favorite aftershave bombs out there I love them they perform well excellent stuff um, but the scent like I said will be the same an 8.9 but as a performance of this it's a 10. Can't go wrong with a certain aftershave bomb. And I've given a lot of 10s to a lot of aftershave bombs. Uh, I know of three of, of them right now that I give them 10 to. So, great stuff. And they're all reasonable priced. So there you go. Sterling Soap Autumn Glory. I would recommend it. For someone that's looking for a unique soap to put in their arsenal to match the scent of what's going on right now, it's awesome. Um, is it something I'll wear all the time? Probably not, but I'm glad I have it. So when it's cold outside, I get that nice whiff and waft of autumn glory. There you go. That is the show today. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all the great questions you give to me sometimes um, and for liking what I do. Uh, it's really fun for me. I really enjoy it. So I hope you guys do as well. Keep the comments coming. I have a lot of great videos coming up. I have a lot of good razors to review um, on loan from Jumpin' Jack Flash himself. Oh yeah. So got that coming and a great, great stuff to follow. So um, that's that. So there you go. So until next time, everybody, respect yourself, respect the day, respect others. Until then, stay smooth.